Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with Tatami Galaxy episode number 11 and this is the final episode of this anime and uh, I'm sure something is going to happen today. Hopefully something good and yeah like let's like you know like this anime has been like up until now it has been fantastic and I would really love a good ending you know because I'm quite concerned about the fact that only one episode is left and he has to do quite a few things so that's why I'm a bit concerned so let's see how this ends hopefully it ends on a good note and also another thing um as you know I usually do anime uh, movie reactions the next day after the like you know the day when this is uploaded the next day I usually put out anime movie reactions so I'm planning on doing uh, a movie which is a 90 short walk on girl reaction I think this is the same person uh, like who made Tatami Galaxy most probably like I think so so like the same author so I'm going to do a reaction on it uh, not this week but the next week so if you guys are interested in that as well you can check it out uh, like not this week like the next week I'm going to put a reaction to it so yeah that's just something that I wanted you guys to know so anyways uh, let's get started with this episode okay the previous episode uh, in the previous episode we actually saw what happened in one of the other previous episodes where we saw this like you know scruffy guy with unshaven you know beard and all he came out of the closet and I also was confused. I was thinking like, what the hell is happening? You know, who is this person? And then, uh, in the like in episode number ten, we actually got, like, we actually realized that was him, in one of his future parallel worlds. He was able to stumble upon these, like, you know, parallel worlds of, like, hundreds and thousands of parallel worlds, and he got stuck into that. Now, um, I'm wondering, like, how is this going to go? Will anything happen with Akashi-san and? Like, you know, like, anyways, let's stop guessing and let's just start with the video. So, this is episode number 11 of Tatami Galaxy. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Holy war. Yes. Okay, will he go? Yeah, he's going back. Nice. <laughs> oh wait! Wait! <laughs> Did they just... <laughs> like, this is supposed to be the ending. <laughs> In the previous episode, like, we did not see him actually turning back time. So did they just, like, you know, in the opening of this episode, they completed the previous episode, the remaining part of the previous episode, and then did the ending? <laughs> oh my god, look at... It. <laughs> I think the number of tatami is increased, didn't it? Yeah, tatami rooms. Yeah, the ending is pretty different here. It's kind of the same, but you know, uh, the color scheme and all, they're different. Obviously the song is the same, but... So, are we going to get the opening after this? Just after this, you know? I don't know. <laughs> okay. What? Three thousand... <laughs> oh my god oh 
Oh wow. <laughs> Four point five Tatang H. It was three befores. Hmm. Two months. Yeah. <laughs> Glory Sylvester campus life. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, someone's. Oh, no, it's okay. It's, it's... obviously, it's also we can see it's. Yeah, the airship, the whole thing that happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he does not actually... Oh. Eight year student on the brink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow yeah it's pretty complicated there you go I, I kind of I kind of said this before yeah she kind of rejects him in this moment Yeah. Wow. I want to try. <laughs> Damn. Ozu. That's the same person who they're looking for. Like he isn't he isn't realizing that it's Ozu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is like the amount of change he. Oh. The amount of change he went through. Oh, what the? What is that? Oh. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, he realized it now that they were actually looking for them. Yeah, that was uh, IGMA. Oh no, the battery. Come on, quick. God damn. And he can't even get out of this whole tatami hell. Oh, come on, take. <laughs> yeah, like whatever he did is part of his past. You know, that made him what he is now, so you should embrace it. La what? Lavator? Oh god, yeah, how do you even... Come on, take, take the Mochikuman. Yeah. Come on. There you go. There it is. Dangling. <laughs> that, that, the, the old lady. <laughs> ah, there she is. <laughs> Mochikuma. Oh, that's why Mochikuman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and then exactly. Okay, <laughs> the old lady was correct all along. Oh, eh. Wow, so it looks like a train, you know, the one and after the, all the same, like, you know, train compartments. Similar to, whoa. Is he, yeah, he's out, isn't he? Whoa, what is, what are those things? Come on, first go to, towards Ozu, like warn Ozu first. Yeah, he's out. 
I wonder what time this is like maybe the time when he first who knows he's even bare feet he looks good I have to say with a beard <laughs> Wow. It's, it's all the words kind of like, you know, overlapping. That's why like the clothes are changing or something. Like what's happening here? Oh, oh yeah. It's the first episode, isn't it? Where he kind of like threw himself over the yeah yeah there you go he threw himself off. yeah it's the first episode Yeah, like this really like, you know, hits like differently when, when we saw the in, in the first episode, it was like all fun and games, you know, and now like you can actually understand what's happening. <laughs> no, the, those things. Are those the moths? No, what are those things? Wow. <laughs> it's bare. <laughs> Oh, that's a huge jump. <laughs> Look, what are these things? Moths, they are moths. Oh, <laughs> moth power. <laughs> Oh my god, Akashi will be <laughs> unconscious. Wow, all of a sudden... <laughs> I didn't mean it for real. <laughs> wow. Um, put, put some clothes. <laughs> yeah, please give the scarf. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why. Oh, so this was the reason. I was wondering why was this happening? Why was it even cross-tracing? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh! Oh! This is all connect. Oh my god. Wow, this really shows how everything's connected, you know? <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> True word spoken in a way. <laughs> okay. What's it doing? <laughs> Do not try. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Dark Scorpion <and> Pink. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Six tatami room. Oh, there you go. Oh, the kittens, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> yeah <laughs> This is completely the reverse of Ozu and his relationship, you know? Complete reverse <laughs> wow, amazing. This ended in a really but um kind of did not uh, he kind of said that you know like others love life like successful love life is not interesting. So that's why he did not like you know mention anything about his and um Akashi's relationship. So I'm guessing everything went okay. <laughs> so that's showing the opening now. In a way, you know, like it kind of show, like you know, the the opening is been showing now. Like it's a brand new opening for his life, something like that. I don't know, like <laughs> you know, I'm kind of uh, like you know, taking it like that, you know, like in the end we're seeing the opening, like it's like the opening of his life, start of his life, actual fun life. Now that he has grabbed the opportunity.
This is one very, one of the most unique you know, shows I've ever seen. I'll never forget this. It's uh, such a great experience. Is there anything else? Come on, show us something. No, she, he, they really did not sh actually show us what, you know, like, are they really dating or something like the main character in Akashi. But, like, you know, as, like, his, his statement kind of proves that it, everything went okay, like, you know, in the end, everything went successful. As she, he says, you know, like, uh, what actually did, does he say? Just a sec. Um... Okay, I cannot find it. But uh, yeah, he, he kind of says that, uh, like, you know, like, successful <laughs> love stories are, are, like, you know, are not interesting or something like that, he said. So that kind of proves in, like, you know, the proves that, yeah, everything went okay for him. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So first of all, if a few things I have to, like, you know, actually. Now, f one thing is the all the moths. So I'm guessing all those moths were like, you know, in the hundreds and thousands of the, what do you call it? The, um, just a sec. Let me check that scene again. Like, oh my God. When he actually grabs the Mochiguman and he... <coughs> Oh god, where is that section? When he actually grabs the Mochiguma, it's like looking like a, you know, a train where he was kind of, uh... Just a sec. Yeah, he's... Okay, so first of all, the whole laundry incident. So that actually meant that uh, the laundry when he was actually washing it it kind of got transported into one of the parallel worlds where um <clears throat> one of the parallel worlds where at the same moment at the same time at the same place um akashi was like you know like akashi had the mochiguman with her so like it kind of got transported and kind of got exchanged so that's why she lost the mochiguman and um the main character got that and his 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 laundry vanished now like that was interesting you know like actually we got to know what like you know how he got the mochiguman this like, you know this this time and um like the moths were i'm guessing the moths were all in his room like, you know one moth in every room and because of like you know because he broke down the wall like you know he was breaking down the wall and kind of going uh one room to the other like you know there was like thousands of rooms lined together and like after he went like you know got out of that room that tatami hell he went out of it the moths also followed him and it started the whole moth like you know thing that happened <laughs> in town and all those things happened so most probably it was something like that like like i think so now i might have missed a lot of things here you know because one thing i'm quite curious is i i'm i think most probably they explained it but i was unable to understand who was the old woman like in the end we see her sitting with the cats you know a lot of cats now i really cannot remember if this like you know if this episode kind of answered i'm sure it somehow answered the question that of the who the old woman was you know and why did she have the um knowledge not knowledge like she always says like you know uh, tell, tells the main character to grab the opportunity so like who was like she like that's the question i have i think most probably the show answered in its own symbolic way but i was unable to properly catch that most probably something like that happened so uh like or either like either that or either they probably did not explain it i'm not sure but the chances are that they did explain and i was most probably unable to catch it now if you guys know the answer uh, let me know in the comment section 
because I'm quite curious about who the old woman was like all the other questions kind of got answered like the another question I had kind, that kind of got answered is like why Ozu was cross-dressing at that like you know like the thing that happened in this episode was what happened in the first episode now uh, why Ozu was cross-dressing what was happening like there were so many questions there like when I saw the first episode and when everything happened like that and um this episode really answered this, answers that question and also like you know the first episode we saw when ozu was cross-dressing and like kind of kind of like screaming and everything like saying that i'm going to jump uh if you don't uh assure my safety uh it was all like funny you know like comedic and uh, like in the first episode if you're watching it for the first time you're like haha what's happening what's he even doing and now after so many episodes after so many like you know after knowing actually what happened this thing kind of hits you differently like you actually understand like what is happening as we see how he struggled you know like all this time how he struggled to actually go to the place where he is and how he's still struggling to actually reach the you know destination but fails in the end as we see you know like as we, they actually like say that he failed to do that and so that's why he went crying to <laughs> Hanuki and uh, Higuchi and like while he was going on the way and he was kind of cross-dressing because of like you know, he, you know he, did not, he did not want anyone to actually understand that it was him it was a disguise for that moment so that and uh, but he got caught anyways and all those things happened now <clears throat> another thing that this uh, episode actually tells us is like you know like all the stuff that he thought was a wastage of time you know all the things that he did and like, like you know like this like after he gets trapped in the tatami like you know in the tatami hell <laughs> i'm calling it a tatami hell <laughs> you know uh, in, in the tatami hell he actually um realizes that whatever he did was something that was what he as a person did and it's a part of his own life so denying that kind of denies your present self like I think that I think I heard this. Where did I actually even heard? Oh, it was in Steins Gate. I, I remember, like you know, like where they actually say that do not change your past because the person that you are now, if you are content with it, do not change your past because your past, even if you did a lot of mistakes, the past defines the person that you are now. So you should not deny it nor try to, you know, like change it. It was in Steins Gate, yeah, and uh, like this episode kind of reminded me of that whole thing, you know, where he here in this episode he actually realizes that whatever I did was what I did as part of my youth, be it good, be it bad, it is something that actually defines me as I am now. So, like you know, those are also a part of my you know rose-colored youth, <laughs> and he actually. Like, you know, embraces it. Like, all this time, all this, like, you know, uh, like, episodes, he, he was actually not, like, embracing everything that he did. You know, he everything did everything for a fantastical, you know, future. And whatever he did, in the end, he deemed it as worthless, unnecessary. You know, like, every episode we used to hear him say that the two years wasted. He, like, you know, every episode he kind of said that in the end. Even though it was a wastage, obviously it was a wastage because he was actually trying to get a, like, you know, a thing which probably didn't even exist, even, like, you know, in which time he could probably actually enjoy his life. So, it was a wastage in a way, but still, it was part of your own youth. So, yeah, now he actually accepts it and he actually moves forward and decides to, like, you know, like, do something good with his future and i loved the change in his personality in the end after he actually uh like you know like goes through all of these things like when he goes to visit ozu we see the change in his uh personality in his mannerisms like he he's just like ozu was and like you know it completely flipped around as ozu is now <laughs> Uh, like you know in the hospital bed kind of saying that oh my god like you know who are you why are you like messing with me and this stuff and he was like all jokes and saying that haha like you know like i am <laughs> connected uh, to you with the black string of fate you cannot like you know like <laughs> you cannot <coughs> like get out of my you know reach i'll always find you stuff like that <laughs> you know 
and his face kind of changed into Ozu's, uh, you know, devil face, <laughs> and all that and all those stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, and also we got to see in the end how uh, everyone is doing a little bit of thing, like how Jogasaki went somewhere, you know, and who knows, Kaori is probably with him, uh, and uh, how uh, Hanuki and Higuchi kind of, I'm guessing got together because we saw them traveling the world together so i guess and like so in one of the parallel words as obviously we see how hanki kind of rejects um higuchi but here i'm guessing because the main character told higuchi that like you go and talk with her you know like don't you like her something like that he said something like that i think most probably that kind of changed higuchi as well and I'm guessing he kind of went to Hanuki and kind of told everything and asked her to accompany him and she accepted actually. So like most probably that happened. Like this also shows how like you know like the main character changing also uh, changed the life of so many people. For example Ozu's life changed you know like where he actually like jumps into the water and uh, uh, the main character saves him and says that don't worry I'll take care of this. <coughs> His life changed in a quite a significant manner. Then uh, Higuchi and Hanuki's life changed as as now like you know I'm guessing they're together and like Higuchi would have probably missed that opportunity if the main character did not come and tell him that like what are you doing go and ask her out. Uh, if the main character did not do that I'm guessing Higuchi would have probably missed that chance. He got that chance. He got that opportunity and uh, this was like you know positive thing and also um <clears throat> san san and his own life also changed where he actually grabs the opportunity the mochiguman and brings it to akashi gives it to her and says that like let's go and like you know eat some <laughs> neko ramen and uh, akashi says that oh i was i don't know why but i was waiting for like you know someone to actually tell that to me <laughs> everything is connected you know all the parallel worlds and stuff the whole deja vu things that actually happens th that itself kind of like explains how uh, everything is connected to the parallel worlds are connected and here it is like uh, Akash, Akash says that for some reason I have a feeling like I've been waiting for those words for a long time and, <laughs> and then, we see, then we see the main character and her kind of eating ramen and you know the main character is kind of crying and all and okay here it is now I, I was trying to find this portion um because it oh also another thing <laughs> i'm guessing the the uh, the person who you know the, the stall like you know the, the shopkeeper of the neko ramen place his like you know his uh life also kind of changed in a way because now we can see that all the people are here like you know eating neko ramen so i'm guessing he <laughs> He sold out most of his neko ramen and he got quite a uh, like you know a significant boost in his income <laughs> that's also how his life changed uh okay um all right so all right uh yeah that that line just to say okay here it is because it is not the purpose of this program to show the further development of my relationship with akashi-san I will refrain from showing much. I wouldn't want to throw my dear viewers time down the gutter now, would I? Nothing else is as boring to tell as a story of successful love. There you go, like this, this statement in itself, you know, like nothing else is as boring to tell as a story of successful love. This statement itself proves that their love was successful. So that means I'm guessing obviously they're going out. And we kind of saw that in the end, you know, like with how he and uh, Akashi-san is like, you know, going together and uh, like, you know, like walking together, going to visit Ozu and all. <clears throat> okay. And uh, yeah, all that is well and good. Now, just a sec. I'm trying to find that okay
okay and yeah and then they go to ozu's uh, hospital and all those like you know conversations happen and so <coughs> now as he said as the main character said like even after this he's pretty screwed you know ozu because as we can see everyone was like and you know waiting down like you know downstairs and so like ozu herself himself knows this so we still don't know what is going to happen with ozu and kohinata's like you know relationship but now that the main character is helping him i'm guessing everything will go well you know because it's it's like you know it's kind of similar to how ozu always cheered him up before and in a way kind of like you know messed with him and like the main character is kind of fulfilling that role now and the positions are kind of reversed so probably something like that and I, i'm sure like the main you know the main character is will help also one thing i like you know like they never uh, to tell like tell the main character's name do they like they never mentioned in this show what is the main character's name <laughs> kind of interesting um anyways and uh yeah i'm, I'm guessing everything will go okay like you know like the main character will probably help ozu after this and i hope everything will go fine and it's really weird to see ozu like this you know like he was kind of meek and like you know kind of like freaking out over the main character and the main character was acting like the ozu before <laughs> weird stuff and uh yeah also like i'm now i'm seeing this like i really am unable to uh like, actually understand who the old lady was like as i said before like it looks like she's kind of sitting down and there's a little cardboard box with a lot of kittens in it and there's something written in japanese i'm unable to read that probably like it would have pro provided some hints or something i'm not sure like we kind of saw her like you know like uh helping oh wait a minute just a second this old lady kind of looks different she looks different doesn't she because the old lady we knew yeah the fortune teller she had a huge nose so who is this lady here she looks kind of same yeah she she she's the same character but where is her nose what happened to her nose okay i'm i'm yeah i'm noticing this now like okay i'm now i'm more confused Probably it kind of symbolizes something, but I don't know. Like, who knows? If you have any kind of like you know like clarification about the old lady, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah. So what does this like, you know anime actually like you know the moral that it portrays is um, like try to um what do you call it? Like, yeah, like, focus on the main goal or something, you know, like, be content with what you have, focus on the main goal, and, you know, try to enjoy your life, even if it looks boring, you know, because you only have one life, and the, the rosy colored campus life that you are actually wanting, if you go too much chasing that fantasy, you know, you might miss out on the smaller happiness of your lives the smaller happiness of the, the main character's life was actually akashi-san you know and like here we he shine kind of explains that i like you know fell in love with her from the first day but still like even like, you know even though he, that happened he still tried to focus on a lot of other grandiose things you know like big big things he wanted to do and that's all well and good but but because he focused on that too much he actually missed out on the smaller happinesses of the of life the the happiness that in life that you get by like you know just chilling you know like just normal happiness like you know everyday happiness that you get so i think that's the main like you know message of this uh, show like how uh, like higuchi kind of said this in uh, like in one of the previous episodes as well you know he said that your life has just started you know like your life has just started like you are like thinking of so many things to do and like you know you're kind of focusing on that so like you know just kind of like you know calm down and settle like you know like you have a lot of time ahead go with it like you know like slow and steady and you'll find the small happiness in your life and you'll be able to cherish that those moments 
instead of just like you know kind of <clears throat> tirelessly struggling to get to a place where you think that happiness is so it's a really nice message like you know like try to enjoy your life try to enjoy the small happinesses in your life and uh like like you know like in the end the main character chooses that happiness over the rosy colored uh campus life that he dreamed and you know like it's all like like you know in the end we see them just like you know going to deco ramen and kind of eating ramen that itself shows that you know like simple things simple small little things that he never ever did before you know like the happiness is in like you know hidden in those things and it's it's really great i like at least i kind of interpreted this show like this i'm sure a lot of people like you know interpret this show in a lot of ways because this show in itself is very symbolic it it shows like you know it gives a message in a very um vague way you know like you actually have to watch it and actually understand and make up your own explanations not explanations but make up your own moral of the story and i'm sure a lot of people like you know like kind of saw this anime in a lot of different ways i kind of saw this anime like this i kind of think that this anime actually tells us to uh like you know like to find happiness in the small things in of life like that's the main uh moral that this anime shows us and it's done beautifully you know like uh, like it's done really beautifully and i'm really happy that they got the good ending that they deserved and everything is good now all well and good so yeah that was it so yeah guys that was my reaction to tatami galaxy this was an amazing experience i knew this show was great i knew like you know before i started it because i've heard a lot about it but after watching it i can definitely say that yeah this this really is great and you know I, like this will be one of uh, those animes which if someone asks me like you know like like suggest me some good anime i'll definitely like you know keep this anime in mind and i'll use this as an example of like a good story telling and like you know like anyways like something like that so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and um so yeah as i said before uh, i'm going to do uh the reaction to um what was that uh what night is yeah night is short walk on girl uh <clears throat> the movie <clears throat> which i'm guessing is the same author as this uh, tatami galaxy's author and not this week but the next week you know next week uh i the day where i usually do my anime movie reactions uh like i'll uh, react to it on that day so if you guys are interested keep an eye out and like you know like check it out when i upload the video so so yeah thank you guys for watching uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know and you know like if you had a different type of interpretation of this movie uh, of this uh anime you can like you know like write that in the comment section as well i'll be look like you know I'm, I'm kind of interested in how other people saw this anime and how they kind of interpreted it the last like you know the final moral of the story so yeah also uh, obviously this is the end of this uh, uh anime it's an ending episode so obviously i'm going to replace this with another anime uh i have a few animes in mind few new animes which are coming out i won't be able to do like this season i won't be able to do any old anime which i wanted to check out because of lack of time because a lot of animes are kind of uh like you know like uh, which i'm watching currently are 12 uh, 24 episodes or, or 24 episodes plus so th those will continue so i won't be able to include much anime but i do plan on watching out some older animes you know like from the next season not this season but from the next season but this season like i'll be replacing the animes with some new animes that are coming out a uh, few animes like kobayashi's uh, dragon maid um, mahoko and uh, like you know uh, record of ragnarok all those new shows so yeah like one of them i'll be including like replacing this show with so yeah so yeah guys see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day